Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm supposed to say something about a book that I didn't write. So, <laughs> therefore, I, I don't have to say much, but I have to thank the editors and translators and everyone who helped to put this book together. And I hope that it will have, a, in one way, a positive effect especially in Portuguese-speaking countries, they have no longer an excuse for not reading something about history or of linguistics. And, and therefore, I think we all have to be very grateful to the translators and editors of this collection of my, my, my sins of the past. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was asked to say some words quite informally. Um, I just would like, as an introduction, an English introduction to Conrad Kerner, to thank you, Conrad. Because if it is, <laughs> no, if it is 40 years of uh, historiography of linguistics for you, for me, it's 20 years. When I started um, on the subject 20 years ago, you were the ones of, uh, uh, let's say, the, the directors of my work. The other one, Pierre Strigos, who is also here, but uh, I thank you very much. And the texts thank that you. are translated today are, in a certain way, the result of this work, uh, in, the, in this effort uh, to implement a new area of research also in Brazil, this area of research. So it's very meaningful we are together, all here, uh, in this conference, uh, and I'm glad for the colleagues uh, uh, from the, the, the university, UTAD, uh, who uh, made this possible, actually. Yeah. It was yeah. their initiative, and I'm, yeah. I thank you. But I still have some words in Portuguese to say. <laughs> <laughs> and um, se, se pode dizer algo definitivo sobre Conrad Kerner, é que para eles, a menos que você entenda a história de um assunto, você não o compreende de verdade. E.F. K. Kerner dedicou toda a sua vida à vida acadêmica e, principalmente, à editoração científica. Eu não, estaria, eu não estaria exagerando se dissesse que o acervo das suas publicações reúne hoje cerca de 500 volumes. E nós vimos... Né? que exatamente no material reunido pro, por Ecos eu vi uma coletânea Beyond 500 Volumes. Esses volumes estão distribuídos nas cinco séries que ele criou e que mantém até hoje na editora John Benjamins. Além, claro, das dezenas de milhares de páginas dos dois periódicos científicos que também criou, Diacrônica e Historiografia Linguística. Cornet Kerner, é autoridade em muitas coisas e, da sua lavra, saíram muitos livros. Foi pioneiro no trabalho em historiografia linguística e seu grande divulgador, não só pela publicação das duas centenas de artigos científicos, dos vários livros especializados que escreveu, entre os quais se incluem os quatro livros sobre o pensamento sussuriano, traduzido também em várias línguas, mas também pela sua contribuição para a profissionalização do campo da historiografia linguística como legítima área de trabalho acadêmico. Com efeito, desde 1973, quando deu início às EFKK Enterprises, até hoje, são 40 anos dedicados à pesquisa, ao ensino, ao incentivo, à produção e à divulgação do trabalho acadêmico e história das ciências da linguagem. O livro, que sai agora em português, por iniciativa dos colegas de Vila Real, vem se somar àqueles vários outros que Körner dedicou à discussão dos fundamentos metodológicos do trabalho em historiografia linguística, por exemplo, a questão da metalinguagem, o argumento da influência e os princípios gerais que regem o trabalho historiográfico. Em segundo lugar, ao estudo de correntes fundadoras do pensamento e da prática de análise linguística, como o pensamento sussuriano, a linguística alemã do século XIX, ou o descritivismo linguístico norte-americano, a sociolinguística de Labov e a Revolução Chomskyana, tema revisitado várias vezes e recorrentes na sua reflexão. 
Em suma, o livro trata a propo da proposição de que o processo de produção do conhecimento é tão relevante quanto o seu produto final, o que alça a historiografia linguística como campo legítimo de ensino e pesquisa em ciências da linguagem. Eu fico feliz de fazer parte dessa homenagem é, e muito obrigada aos colegas de, de Vila Real por terem me proporcionado é, esse momento também. Muito obrigada. Muito obrigada, Fernanda. I'm dead, I didn't hear it. It must be all lies. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll translate to you after, afterwards. <laughs> I'm your translator. You'll beat me later on when nobody is watching. <laughs> <laughs> That's the idea. Pode parecer estranho que a apresentação de um livro em português seja, seja feita em língua inglesa, mas isto justifica-se pela composição internacional do painel e da, da audiência. E por isso passo em inglês. Em 2012, professores Kerner e Altman e eu decidiram undertake a edição de alguns key papers by professor Conrad Kerner. Some of the papers dated back for, uh, to the 1970s, most are, uh, of them are from the 1990s, and some even more recent. Amongst the 11 articles that are part of the volume we are presenting today, in which you can see here, um, five already have been published in several journals in Brazil. Never before uh, has there been a selection of key elements of coronary in thought Uh, to be published in Portuguese. And we need to thank uh, Christina Altman for having translated the original Brazilian translation, uh, translations in Brazil oh, and having published them. Um, in what easily could have been a handbook with more kernel contents, um, constraints of time and, and the desire to attend more to the brevity than superfluity led us to choose 11 papers and not 12, or 30, or 40, or 50, or 100, um, with a quite elaborate range of topics. Thus, the first, the first four papers are dedicated to the definition and key questions related to the historiography of linguistics in the coronary sense, <laughs> the scientific activity of studying the history of the language sciences. It is true that some contents can be found in more than one of the papers that are reprodu reproduced in this, uh, in this volume. While conscient of the in undesirability of repetitions, we preferred to keep it intact um, and thus deemed considerable, uh, we deemed considerable interest uh, of the book's uh, Lusophone audience exactly in those articles we have uh, reproduced here. In the volume, Conrad Kerner not only discusses the core question of the linguistic discipline that, that he helped to establish around the, uh, during the 40 years he worked on, his, on the history of linguistics, but he discusses the relation between linguistics and philology and metalanguage along the papers uh, of more programmatic net nature. These are followed by studies of a more specific nature, starting with an elaborate paper that analyzes the question of influence in the case of governance and Saussure. The last three papers are dedicated to modern American linguistics. The, papers on William, uh, the paper on William Labov considers the origins of modern sociolinguistics in the light of almost forgotten studies in European dialectology from the 19th century on. Finally, Kerner offers us a treasure trove on Chomsky and linguistics. As it might appear that Chomsky himself might not have been as forthcoming about his intellectual and ideological, in the least linguistic sense, obviously, uh, origins, Kerner delves deeply into key aspects of mid 20th century American linguistics, and the results are quite interesting. But I shall not spoil your pleasure in reading those papers yourself. The book is complemented uh, with a revised and augmented section containing the complete references that had been used in the individual papers. These references, quite obviously, are meant to stress the book's character as an 
albeit short, handbook of Kernian 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 or Kernian whatever uh, <laughs> linguistics. Um, yeah. We need to work on on the uh, on, Kern yeah. on Kernian terms, I think. Kernian. <laughs> Kernian. Kernian. Kernian linguistics. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. You have it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> from the colonel's mouth. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. In the end, you can find a uh, biographical name index, also copied on what we can find in some uh, Kernarian books. As the 11th uh, book of Sells, Colisseum Linguistica, this volume constitutes a, tu a true group effort of, th of most of the colleagues working in linguistics, and then some. My thanks go to Professor Kerner for allowing us to produce this um, homage on the occasion of 40 years of linguistic historiography, and also, one might add, 75 years of Konrad Kerner, for that matter, which is quite important too. Also, I need to thank my esteemed, my esteemed colleague, Christine, Professor Christine Altman, who previously had taken it um, her, upon herself to divulge Kernerian thought in Brazil and who accepted uh, uh, being part of this edition. Thank you very much. For the preface to this, to this book, my sincere thanks go to Carlos Assunção, uh, our fearless leader without whom cell couldn't exist. Thank you uh, to all the colleagues who newly translated some of the book's articles, namely Sonia Coelho, Susana Fontes, Marlene Loreiro, Felicidade Moraes, and last but not least, Teresa Silva. Thank you very much. Also, this book could not have been published without the arduous uh, revisor, revisory work uh, of my dear colleagues and friends, Monica Augusto, Sonia Coelho, Gonçalo Fernandes, Susana Fontes, Marlene Loreiro, Felicidade Moraes, and Teresa Moura. Please, I ask you, please make your applause theirs. Thank you very much. Ah, yeah. Uh, we didn't discuss that before, but I think it's quite evident that as we have enough books for each and everybody of you, you can uh, acquire those books uh, at the Secretariat. And as we've got the, the um, author here, um, I to think we can, we can expect him to sign one or uh -huh. the other copy, because this is just the unique occasion to have <laughs> Conrad Kerner in a room with a book written by, well, we mm -hmm. owe to Conrad Kerner, so please enjoy, get a book, get him to sign it. Um, <laughs> I had a pen ready. And he does yeah. have a pen. So he's, he's all, while we didn't discuss it, he is prepared, so please enjoy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I especially have to, to sign those for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah they're, they're already maybe. equipped, they're, they will be coming. Ah, they're there. They are. Okay. So anybody who, who already has a book may just come on up. Ricardo já pediu a assinatura. Quem tiver o livro e quiser o autógrafo agora é uma boa hora, por favor. Então, Conrad, o senhor está no Yes, of course. Eu vou também na fila. Não, primeiro foi Ricardo. Was the first? Yes, somewhere here, I think. Thank you. <laughs> My God. I think I will find more. Oh, the beauty. More in the case, no. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Then I have to be make it very brief. To my signature, yes, yeah, of okay, course. So no, but I, in your case, uh, I have to sign. What's your name? My name is Gonzalo. Yeah. Oui. 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 Oui.